guys, what's up? So today I'm bringing to you sort of, kind of, well it is, an empties video. So this kind of video is kind of tough for me to do because like at any normal human being, you finish something, you throw it away, right? Or you recycle it or something. But no, I had to keep it just to, so I can talk about it. So this is a little tin thingy that I have all my empties in here. And yeah, let's just get straight to talking about it. They're pretty much all bath related products because those are the ones I finish first or almost always like super quick. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Nivea uh, Cream Care or Creme Care. I got this at Ross um, during my 40% off. If you haven't watched my Ross videos or any of my Ross hauls because I know they're your favorites, I'll leave a link up here or down here just so you can check them out or check one of them out, you know, just go to my channel. I have a lot. But anyways, I bought this and um, yeah, I really, really liked it. It moisturized my skin, left my skin feeling super soft. It doesn't have um, like that big of a scent. It kind of smells like uh, baby powder, kind of, sort of, if I smell it again. Kind of smells like baby powder. I really loved it. It says it's made in Italy. What? I just read that right here. Made in Italy, which is... So fancy. So next I have the Tresemme Expert Collection. This is step one. I don't know what happened to step two, but this was a, a really weird um, shampoo for me because it's a pre-wash, like you do it backwards, like you condition first and then you shampoo. So that was really weird, but it left my hair super soft. It just, it was so good. Like I want to repurchase this again, this two-step system from Tresemme. And yeah, it just left my hair super soft. So the scent is kind of, masculine like I don't know has like this really weird scent I like fruity types of scents this is not my type of scent that I would normally go for did the job and it was really weird for trying a two-step system backwards like I had to condition first and then I had shampoo um, it was really weird but I got used to it and the outcome of outcome of it on my hair was really really nice so yes I would repurchase this again so I had this L'Oreal Paris um, shampoo in the back of my closet I used it once I don't think I liked it and then I brought it out again and I flippin love this shampoo oh my gosh besides the color the product overall is fabulous like seriously okay so I've been using this for the past weeks or so and yeah it left my hair again smooth soft but the scent lasted and my hair was so manageable like I didn't have any frizz like I normally do on a humid hot day my hair stayed pretty much without frizz which is a freaking miracle in my opinion because I have frizzy hair when it comes to humid weather and this just made my hair not frizzy manageable super soft so the scent lasted all day like I could snip my hair and it still smelled like this like a day later like after I washed it the scent is so good it's not fruity it's like a fresh smelling, like clean scent. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna repurchase this again. I love it, I love it. Okay, so it is the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moisture, three times the moisture in three minutes. I was so happy I found this bottle. It is a bigger version of the smaller, like I, I bought those smaller versions so much. Like I would have purchased that for like the rest of my life. And when I found they brought out a bigger version with a pump, I was stoked. And yeah, I finished this. This is my favorite deep conditioner. Um, leaves my hair smooth, it smells awesome, it smells like coconuts. I mean, the scent of Aussie conditioner, this one, I don't know how the other ones smell. I've never tried the shampoos or anything. I've just stuck to the Three Minute Miracle. This smells so good. Like, it smells like a summer day. And who doesn't want to smell like a summer day? With coconuts. It smells so good. Does a job. I will keep repurchasing this till the end of time. Seriously, repurchase all the time. And now that they brought out a bigger version with the pump, sold. I'm seriously sold. A mask I love to death is the Derma E Purifying Two in One Charcoal Mask. This is freaking awesome. It has little. Um, is this the one with the little micro beads? I think it has a little squeeze in here left. Let's see, I don't want to be wrong. I think this is the one with the little microbeads in it, but it's like a charcoal mask. So put it all over your face, you let it dry, and then you just rub it off. and has like little microbeads in it, so you get an exfoliation going on with the charcoal, and it just makes your skin so smooth. Like I had this in the shower whenever I would, you know, shower. I loved it. It's a little bottle, but yeah, I loved it. Uh, Derma E hooked me up because Derma E did send me this 
uh, to me and thank you Dermy. this is my favorite product love it. It is the L'Oreal Paris Hydra Genius Extra Dry Skin um, I loved it but it kind of made my skin feel super oily my makeup was just slipping on and off of my face even though I don't wear any like liquid foundations I just felt like super oily all the time and it just uh, that's not my skin I mean I'm oily sometimes like around my t-zone but this was like all over my face I'm guessing it's for because it's for extra dry skin I need to get another like formula of this um, not for extra dry skin maybe has like so too much moisture in here that's like you know just not for my skin type so uh, maybe that's it I don't know but the overall product of it, I would wear this at night, um, not during the day anymore, but I loved it for a night moisturizer. It really moisturized my skin. Um, so that's that. I mean, I finished it like to the last drop. It smelled pretty good, so yeah. It is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It says 16 hour wear. I took this along with me to, uh, to uh, California. Kept me refreshed, kept my makeup on fleek, and yeah, my my besties like I would let them borrow it, and they liked it. So yeah, I'm so sad. I only have like a little spritz left, but yeah, it's like the cheapest facial spray you'll probably find at the drugstore, probably. So these two things I haven't finished up. Well, these three things I haven't finished up because I just don't like them anymore, and I just want to get rid of them. So the first thing is the Maybelline uh, Master Precise Curvy. Comes like this. It's an eyeliner. I don't like the wand. It is flat, and I can't get the wing that I want with this uh, device thingy right here. It's not opaque enough. I like a super opaque black eyeliner, black liquid liner for my top lash line, and this just isn't cutting it for me. So I don't like it. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. And the next one is uh, the Lancome Art Liner. I've had this for a while, so maybe it's because it's old or whatnot, but it's not opaque as well. Uh, it's not opaque enough for me. Um, it is a liquid liner. It just comes like this with a little brush, and it's just not opaque enough for me. And once I go over it one time, so if I go over it one time, it's like, it's okay, but it still leaves like a little residue that you have to go over it a second time. But if you go over it a second time, it just takes off what you worked for in the first place. And maybe it's because it's old, I don't know, but it has a little thing you can shake. I just don't like it. I don't like it. Another eyeliner that I'm super sad that this doesn't work for me anymore. It is the Tarte uh, Precision Longwear Liner. It looks like this. It has a little grip right here, so it's just like always a good thing. Uh, but it comes with like this little pointy pencil thingy. But it's just it. Okay, so it worked out for the beginning. But when I was doing my bestie's makeup, like when she was here, uh, I do have that footage. I don't know if I'm ever gonna put it up. So when I was when I was doing my bestie's makeup for a video that I have coming up, um, it just wasn't working out. Like I had to go over it so many times. The liner wasn't coming out. I had to shake it. I had to really, really shake it. Like, really, really shake it. And it just wasn't working out for me. Like, I don't know what it was. Maybe it's running out of ink. But, as you can see, I did a swatch right now. It's perfectly... has a lot of ink in there. Um, it, it is black. It is opaque. Uh, I just don't know. Like, it just doesn't want to work out with my skin. Or my bestie's skin. It just didn't want to come out or stay put. Like, I don't know. So... Whatever you purchase this, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll try another eyeliner from Tarte because I love Tarte, so I just don't want to get up, give up on this eyeliner. But I'm just gonna throw it away because maybe it's because it's out of ink or it's time for it to go. But yeah, and one lipstick that I'm just gonna put in here because I pretty much finished it. I never finish any lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick. It is the CoverGirl lipstick in Ravish, number 308. I don't know if they have these anymore. I think you can take the bottom off of these and you have more product, but I don't know. We'll try that later, maybe. But yeah, I finished this lipstick. It was my favorite lipstick. It was a kind of lipstick, for me at least, that I could apply without a mirror. Now, I can apply lipstick without a mirror pretty good. Like, if I have like a, nor like a neutral color like this, it's kind of mauve kind of neutral. But it looks like that. It's super pretty. It's gonna be. This is a perfect color for like the fall or like an everyday lipstick. I really love this um, lipstick. It's moisturizing, easy to apply. I mean, like I'm telling you, even without a mirror, I could apply this lipstick. So, yeah, I love this lipstick. I wanna repurchase this, 
I haven't, I just forget every time I go to the store that I want to repurchase this lipstick. But yeah, CoverGirl, number 308 in Ravish. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the junk, trash, empties I've collected over the last months that I haven't done one of these, like, or that I've decided I want to do one of these. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, wherever it is. I, I forget. I haven't done a video in a long time. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell if you want to get notified whenever I post a new video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!